we have it all down. Uh, I'm going to show you all the games on, on the new Atari Blaze uh, joystick, you know. I'm made for my controllers to charge, so I might as well do a bit of retro gaming, you know. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the new Atari Blaze uh, joystick. It has 50 built-in games. And it has um, a 4 button on the top and an arm of 4 button. It has uh, 3 buttons, um, a start button, a reset button and a select button. Um, and it has an on off switch, you know. And it plugs into the tele via uh, AV cables, you know. Uh, now, we paid uh, 35 euro for this. Um, so, uh, in my opinion, it's worth the money. Uh, you know, um, the games that are included are, are all classics. Um, but one thing I know is, is um, the games play well enough, but the sound effects aren't exactly accurate to the to the to the to the, to the original um, Atari Twenty Six Hundred games. But it's not so annoying that uh, it, it, the games are still fun. Just the sound effects are different, you know. So uh, I don't know, but um, overall. I'm happy to have this, you know. Just to force a tiny bit of um hardware in a long time. Uh now I got the uh, the tiny blaze handheld as well. Um well um I'll well, show you that after I'm finished with the joystick, you know. But in my opinion, apart from from the sound effects not being uh one hundred percent accurate, for twenty five euro it's worth the money. Now it it, it would have been better if it was an uh, a HDMI cable but it's just an A V lid. So for twenty five quid, I can't complain. Um, if you're if you're a, a massive Atari fan like I am, then I recommend getting it. But if you're not, then I'd pass on it because there's so many ways to play Atari games, uh, better and cheaper than this. You know, you can play Atari games on your smartphone or tablet. All right, but if you want a uh, a bit of Atari hardware, then yeah, this is the way to go. Like, you know, the four button works pretty well. And the other button works pretty well. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to show you the games and um, I'm for, for my controller to charge it. Now, I'm, I'm just an amateur at this, so uh, I'm doing my best, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, go to AV, you know, and uh, turn it on. When the light's on, you know, it's on, you can know. Um, Atari Interactive, you know. Um, so, so yeah, so fifty built-in games. The Atari yeah, Blaze Retro TV joystick, three D tic tac toe. You know, it's march and crosses. You know, you, you press the four button to start, and um, you press the start button on the on the joystick to start the game. So I play as the uh, crosses, the computer is the um, knots, and you have to get far in a row or far the uh, diagonal. Now it's not exactly 3D, but it's meant to give an impression it is. And I like this game. I mean, um, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you can change to play some uh, Call of Duty or something like that, you know. And uh, you, you can press the forward button on top or the uh, other button. Um, so, uh, now, uh, very rarely I've beaten the, the uh, computer at this game. I've won maybe three times, you know. Um, but it's, I, I like this game. Um, a lot of people don't seem to like but I, I like 3D tic-tac-toe, you know. It's... Um, it's all about using your brain, you know. Um, See, so I got beaten that time. Now the sound effects are different than than the cartridge um, on, on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, but it's not that much of a difference, you know. I'm gonna play another another game of it, you know. You know, and the start, you, you press the start button on the uh, thing to start it, you know. I'll show it again, you know. So it works pretty well. Like the, the joystick is a bit on the stiff side. It's stiffer than um, a normal Atari twenty six hundred a normal Atari twenty six hundred joystick. But it does the job. It's sturdy. It feels very well made. Like you know. 
and uh, the, the new forward button on top uh, works pretty well. And I like the fact that they did they, they did that, you know, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good idea to have two forward buttons, the arm one and the one on top, like, you know. Yeah, so so uh, 3D Tic Tac Hall, it doesn't get a lot of love, but I, I like this game. It's um, it's all about using your brain. See, I'm not. <laughs> Now, call me. I'm just not. But I, I like playing this game. And I, 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 like I said, I've only beaten the computer three times. I've played this game like hundreds of times, even back in the day on my original 2600. I very rarely did I beat the, the computer, but yeah, I always want to play the game. It's a good mind uh, thing, you know. Yeah, so like 3D Tic Tac, so I, I like the game, you know. And um, if if we were to give 3D Tic Tac to a score out of 10. Given an 8 out of 10, I like playing this game. That's my opinion. So, to, to, to go back to the main menu, you, you press the, the reset button. And you're back to the start. Now, um, one thing I notice, really, on, on the handheld, on, on the Atari um, um, Blaze handheld, there is no reset button. So, uh, you have to actually turn off the handheld and turn it back on to get back to the main menu. So, that's one thing that's different about the, the handheld, is that there's no menu button. You know, which is strange, you know. Uh, and the handheld costs forty five euro, a ten or more, and it doesn't it doesn't have a reset button, so that's strange, like you know. So next game, adventure, you know. And now, now I like the way they uh, color code the stuff with the game with the game box, which is pretty cool, like, you know. Now adventure is a classic, you know. Um, you press the button to start. Uh, I love this game. Um, uh, it's 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 one of my favorite Atari games of all time. And um, I'm going to start off at game one, just to show you. Press the start button. Now, the sound effects are different, as you'll hear now. Did you hear that? It's different, but it doesn't piss me off too much where the game plays well now. And uh, pretty cool. I had to go, go in the castle. Yes, yeah, so, so the whole thing about uh, adventure is... You had to get the, the golden chalice and bring it back into this yellow um, castle. Uh, game one is the easiest, you know. Um, but, but, but back in the day, this was awesome because there was nothing else like this. All we had was shooting games and spark games and stuff. There was nothing like an RPG game back in the day. So Adventure, it's a very forced RPG game that I ever played anyway. I'm going back to 1980, you know, 79. Uh, and before that, all we have is shooting games and racing games and spark games. There's nothing like this, you know. And there's a dragon. Yeah, sounds different, but plays well, looks well. That's all that matters, you know. Now, on the handheld, they, these games, for some reason, they, 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 they run a lot slower and they sound a lot slower. So I don't know why, because it's the same company that makes the handheld that makes this. So, I don't know. Uh, see, it's a dragon. You got to get away from the dragon. Awesome. This game is fucking awesome. Yeah, you're, you're just a square, but you can make up a name for the square if you want to. Like, uh, you have to use, use your imagination with Atari games. So, I'll call him Mr. Square, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it's a challenge, you know. So, game one is the easiest setting, you know. Well, this is an awesome game, like, you know. And would, would, would easily give a 10 out of 10 because, now, in my opinion, like, all these games were a big influence on, on, on games to come nowadays. In my opinion, like, you know, the um, like, in, inspiration and Atari games uh, were a big <sighs> inspiration to uh, 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 future programmers, you know. So you got eaten by the dragon. So yeah, just you, you get the, the golden chalice back to the castle. You know, so adventure is a fucking classic. Still is. Now one thing that um I like about adventure is that it's different from like I said most other Atari games at the at the time, and we still have fun playing this game even today. And uh, so for adventure league, we'd have to give it a ten out of ten for for, for the simple fact that. It's the it's the first RPG game, you know, um, as far as I'm, I'm, I'm aware of. Uh, where it's it's not about shooting stuff or 
um, winning a race or a spark game, um, it's about you have to get the chalice back to the castle and avoid the dragons, you know. So yeah, like I'm pretty sure that if if it, if if a tie hadn't come up with adventure, there'd be no Zelda, there'd be no uh, other RPG style of sort of game. So uh, that's my opinion, you know. So, yeah, so adventure is fucking ass. Uh, it's still to this day a player. So you press the reset button, you go back. Next game, AC Battle. I like the way it's colour coded. Now, on, on the handheld, it's the same menu system. It looks exactly the same, except it has a tiny retro handheld. Um, yeah, so, AC Battle, it's a very simple game. You shoot um, airplanes and helicopters and stuff. It's really a, a two player game, but uh, you can play by yourself if you want to, you know. And now, now, back in the day, I really liked this game. It's not brilliant by any means, but it's a good game, like, you know. So, you know, um, press the start button to start. And now, now, now this sounds okay, like, you know. So, now, there's like a time limit, like, um, like a minute or something like that, and you have to get shoot down as many planes as you can, like, you know. But like I said, it's mainly a two player game. And um, if, if if you move the oak, you can, you know, basic but fun, in my opinion. Um, yeah. So 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 like back in the day, like um, the, this game was pretty good, especially with a second person. So uh, you know. If you press the, the uh, select button, it selects the uh, the second. See, Atari games have multiple um, variations on on the same cartridge, you know. You press the start button, that's uh, still a one-player game, you know. But uh, one thing I noticed, on, on the joystick and on the handheld, um, there's no difficulty switches, you know, which means you can't make the game hard or normal. So all the games are normal a difficulty by default because there's no way to change it to the hard difficulty where uh, on a 2600 there was a uh, difficulty switches uh, and you can make the game hard or normal but in here there's no there's no way uh, um difficulty switches so the games are always going to be on normal difficulty uh same with the handheld there's no difficulty switches either uh but uh you press the select button again and yeah, so this is the two player game. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, like, you know. Now, now the, now the, the uh, now back then there was no such thing as AI per se. Uh, they just program the computer to do the one thing over and over and over again. It doesn't change its tactics or anything like that. Uh, whereas all we can move are see on the on the uh, one move, you know. Where the, the computer just does the same thing over and over again. But, but back in the day, we, 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 they could just blew my fucking mind. That, oh Jesus, there, there's no one in the room, but I'm still I'm playing against the computer. You know? Yeah, so when I see Battle, it's, it's a good game, it's, it's nothing spectacular. But it's one of the early sort of two player games, you know? And it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, for AC Battle, I'll we'll, we'll give it a 7 out of 10. You know, it, it's, it's just better with, with, with a second player, but you can play with, with the computer if you want, you know. And it's like a time limit, so you go back to the main menu, you know. Now, like I said, I, now Asteroids is a fucking all time classic, it's one of my favourite. But the thing is, right, because it, the, the game is set to normal, normally we. Uh, Asteroids, every so often a, a, a UFO will fly onto the screen and try and kill you. But because this is set to normal, that doesn't happen. So you're just going to be shooting the asteroids over and over again. And it doesn't really get much harder. Like I said, the, 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 uh, you, you, the, the fucking spaceship, the UFO, doesn't fly on the screen. You have to set the game to hard for that to happen, but you can't do that because there's no difficulty switch. You see what I mean? Asteroids is, we played as non being stopped back in the day in the arcades on my, on my 2600 and it's a, it's a fucking awesome game but 1981 I was two years old when this game came out in Mazni in, in County Me. I, I, I live in Ireland now 
And this is not last one game, but look at said the, the, the fucking UFO doesn't show on the screen. You know, because it's not normal difficult. Now this sound is totally different. The sound effects are, are different from, from the 2600 version. But it, it, it does a job. And it's really times I'm playing this with a joystick again. I haven't played this in a, a while with a joystick, you know. But uh, the, the top four button works pretty well, like, you know. Well, uh, this is an awesome game. Um, uh, but, but this runs better than, than the handheld version. But like I say, there's no UFO, you know, because the game is set to normal. Which is a shame. Now, uh, you can select um, different game variations, but... Uh, um, you can ask them then. See, by now, the, 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 the fucking UFO flew on the screen to win King, but that hasn't happened yet. And, um, after every 5,000 points, you get an extra leave, you know. So, if, if players or Atari ever make a second one of these, they should put a, 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 a difficulty switch on the joystick so you can change the difficulty. You know? It's still an awesome game. You know? Yeah, Asteroids. And you know, something, it's awesome to play these games again. And they're still around and they, 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 they're, they're coming back in popularity, which, which makes me happy, you know? And when, 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 when I get my Atari VCS in July, uh, Asteroids is one of the games I'm definitely going to play, you know? And it, like, that's another thing about the Atari VCS, I hope it has difficulty switches, you know what I mean, because otherwise it would be the same as this, I mean, to be no, to be no um, UFO flying on the screen. So yeah, I, mean, I hope, I hope the, that, like, that I, hope, I hope Atari realise like, that like, these games you have to have a difficulty switch to change the difficulty, you know what I mean. Um, but I'm sure that they that, that, that have it, you know. Look, I said, this is only 35 euro, you know. Whereas it, with the Atari VCS is over 300 euro. See, an extra life. So, yeah, look, I said, no UFO, that's the only difficult thing, you know. But you can change the game. You know, there's 66 variations. You know, um, let's see what Yeah, this one's a lot harder. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look at this model, more challenging. Yeah, um, asteroids is, asteroids is fucking good. It, it'd be easily, it'd be, it'd be my top 10 of, of a tie to where it's hundred games. You know, and um, yeah, if you press down the joystick, it, it can, it disappear and you fucking reappear somewhere else in the screen. Yeah. yeah. So that's some stuff. But look, as you can see, there's no UFO leak, you know, which is a shame, you know. Um, what's your game knowing? I'm hoping that the, the uh, UFO shows up somewhere. Yeah, so I'm gonna move on to a different game, but um, so last series is fucking awesome, you know. We we'll, we'll playing this game. Um. So, yeah, so, back to the main menu. Now, Blackjack is a game that I just never liked. It's, it's a card game. Now, if you like card games, great, but we never liked it. Um, you know, it's all about... So, you start off with 200 ships, and if you reach a zero, it's game over. So, it's, it's, all, it's a card game, like, you know. Um, it just, you, you can see how many um, chips you want to bet, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, nine, jack, three, ace, blackjack. <laughs> I, got, I got lucky there, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so fucking, yeah, so let's try, try that again. Uh, I'll believe whatever, whatever that means. Or you can stay, or you can, you can, whatever, you know. I'm, I'm not big into cards, so you can, you can get another card. You can, you can, you know, I don't know. So, yeah, um, 
I won. Fucking. Well, now I'm just guessing, like, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. We have no idea how blackjack works or whatever, but. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if, if you like card games, I don't. I just don't like card games. Uh, but it's stress free. I say that, you know what I mean? It's nice and peaceful. There's no explosions around. It's a nice, relaxing game. But I never liked it that much. So, you know. But Asteroid to give a 10 out of 10 easily. But this, uh, I don't. I just don't like card games. So I'll give it a fucking 3 out of 10. So back back to the main menu. Yeah, so 50 games. I mean, uh, Centipede is my all time favourite. Uh, I had to play that. You know what I mean? Um, and again, this sounds differently than uh, the, the, the 2600 version. It's, it's more high pitched or something. You know? Um, but that is well. Um, it's awesome. Yeah, Centipede was uh, awesome back in the day. It still is awesome. Um, it's it's uh, asteroids would play Centipede Missile Command. You know, uh, back in the day, the most, and then uh, Space Invaders. But Centipede is awesome. Um, but the arcade version is better because uh, if you get a oil scar, you can put your name in. That's the only thing that's missing from the 2600 version. Yeah. Now, the handheld version of this, just, it, it runs a lot slower and, and, I don't know. But this is awesome. And full screen, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed, really. When, when you plug this stuff in with AV cables, it fills up the whole screen. But if you're using the HCMI, it sounds like a, a square, like, you know? Uh, I'd like it if, uh, uh, if, if you're plugging the HDMI and takes up the whole screen like this, but it doesn't. Yeah, so... Yeah, so it's to appear, it's fucking awesome. You know, um... See, it's more how pitched, you know? Um, I don't know why that is, you know? Um, but say... Maybe because the, the stuff is sort of joystick is so different from the 2600. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah. <laughs> awesome stuff. It's still awesome game. It works well with the joystick. And the four button on top is pretty cool. Yeah, so Centipede is fucking awesome. I love Centipede. Um, it, it's easy with top, in my top 10. 10 out of 10 would, would give it. And that's what drew me in, like, when I saw that, I was, I was hypnotised, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, 1982, I was fucking, uh, three years old, when I saw that, I was like, well, so see the way it goes, like, that, that, that was mind-blowing back in the day, to see something like that, you know what I mean? Like, um, it was awesome. Uh, and when when I get my Atari VCS, I'll be, I'll be playing this right after Asteroids, you know? So, back to the main menu, we... Now, Casino, again, it's like Blackjack, it just has more variation. And that's, this is a special edition, I don't know. Uh, uh, like, um, you've seen Blackjack, it's pretty much identical, you know what I mean? So, like, I don't have to go over the same game twice, so. Back to the main menu, you know. Canyon Bomber, it's like, it's, it's, it's more simplified than the RC battle, you know. Uh, all you have to do is keep um, bombing the fucking canyon. You know, um, you know, but it's on uh, um, the yellow plane, the, the uh, computer is the red plane, and each uh, plane has uh, ammo. You see, see the the um, the bar, the red and yellow bar. That that's the ammo. So it's all about butt bombing. It's pretty mindless, but it's fucking good, good for what it is. We 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 prefer air sea battle because there's more stuff to shoot. Like you know, here you just bombing the cannon. You know, um, so I've got to buy quick. Um, but you know, it's it's, it's a stress free game, it's one of the earliest games at Friday, Tiny Twins, I told But it's, it's, it just gets by and pass, you know, but it's still uh, okay, like, you know. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting destroyed here. The, 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 the computer is 365, 189. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it, like. It's, it's all over in less than a minute, like, you know. So like, it's it's um, Canyon Bomber. It's it's all right. It's not it's not as good as A C Battle. So we'll give it a six out of ten. It's, it gets boring quick, you know. what I mean, um, now 
That was the problem with Atari games with my mouse and back in the day. They were boring. They lasted five minutes and that's it. With a centipede, you had to keep going because every 10,000 points you get an extra life. And it's all about getting your horse car and getting your name number one on, on top, you know what I mean? With, with, with games like Kind of Bomber and AC Battle, there's no real fucking objectives. It's, it's, it's all about getting a horse car. Breakout is one of my all time favourites. Um, now, I never got a chance to play this in the arcade. Uh, but when I came out on the 2600, uh, it was fucking awesome. Still is awesome. Now, normally this game works best with um, um, a paddle, paddle controller. So using the joystick is sort of awkward. But it's still playable, but it's just very hard. So, it, um, uh, but it's, uh, it's good that the paddle is nice and big. Yeah, break out, um, this just blew people's minds back in the day. It, it's good for your hand eye coordination, because you have to keep your eye on the ball. But playing it with a joystick is just awkward. Um, but it's still a great game, like. Um, but, uh, you have to have a, a paddle controller, really. Um, but break out was awesome. Still is awesome. Oh, we're breaking all them bricks. So that's break it. We'll play it again. Yep. Oh, the sound effects are gone. Just notice. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna um go back. I'll play one more game, then I'll um bowling. Well you all know what bowling is, you know. Uh, you, you fucking knock down the pins. It's pretty good for what it is for one of the areas um I got a streak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great stuff. Yeah, so uh, yeah, bowling, you know. I got another streak. <laughs> Fucking awesome. I got uh, a blackjack in blackjack just like that. I'm getting two streaks in a row. It's, it, today's my day, league, like, you know. Yeah, so bowling is pretty cool. Like. I, I like this game, you know. Um, uh, it's really a two player game, but you can play it by yourself if you want. You know, the one thing I love about these sort of games is that, I, that there's no stress involved, there's no pressure, you know what I mean, it's just it's fucking fun, like, you know, in my opinion. A lot of people might think these sort of games are boring, but I fucking love, I, I love these games. You know, there's nothing at stake, like, you know what I mean, it's just, it's just enjoyment. And there's no cunt online pissing me off, like, you know what I mean, that's, that's another thing I like about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, uh, ah, some stuff. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of so for, for bowling, I'll give it a, I'll give it a seven out of ten. I like it. Um, back to, back to the main menu. Yeah, so, um, awesome stuff. Crystal Castles is awesome. You know, Circus of Terry is awesome. Demons of Diamonds is awesome. Desert Falcon, Dodge and every game on that page is awesome. Um, you know, Crystal Castles, you know, 1984. I remember that, you know. Yeah, this is in the arcade as well. I never got a chance to play it in the arcade. Let's collect all the dots and we play Bentley Bear there, fucking running them out. So yeah, I mean that's the Atari um Blaze joystick. In my opinion it's worth the money, you know what I mean? But uh um Look, uh, if if you're a diehard Atari fan, look, I am, then we say you get it, you know. But if you're not, we pass on it because, like I said, there's so many ways to play these games without having to buy this joystick. You know, you can get it on your smartphone, on a tablet. You can fucking, uh, you can get an an Atari flashback that has over a hundred games, and it's just a better experience. But, but this is awesome. So, um, um, we're running out of time, so I'm going to have to fucking wrap this up. Uh, but thanks for watching if you're watching, and, and what's your guys' opinion? So, like, Cirque Satay, awesome. Crystal Castles, awesome. Demons of the Women's, awesome. In my opinion, like, in, in my opinion, play these games. If, if you're interested at all, play these games. Um, dodge them, awesome, you know. Uh, Gravitar, Haunted House. Now, golf is, is, is a bit on the shit side. Uh, Full moon numbers, it's added subtraction, it's maths basically. Uh, Double Dunk is a, is a 2 on 2 basketball game. 
Avatar, it's like Asteroid, except um, there's more to it. Uh, Millipede, awesome. All these games are fucking cool. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, miniature Golf would pass on it. Uh, Night River, Pong, of course, you know. Uh, so, now Night River, I, I love Night River. I'm going to play that. And then, uh, now, d again, you really need a pallet controller for this game, but it's. Good enough, and um, <laughs> I, I, I love this game. Um, even though I keep crashing all the time, uh, you know, you, you have 90 seconds to get as far as you can. Now, I, I never got a chance to play the arcade version of this, I wish I could, but I never did. So, I'm gonna end the video. Re um, so uh, that's it in a nutshell. Um, uh, 50 games, 10 pages of awesome Atari stuff. Uh, in my opinion, uh, despite the sound effects not being accurate, it's good enough. I mean, it, it does the job for 35 quid, 35 euro. Um, I can't complain. Um, now, there's obviously, um, uh, there's, yeah, so I would recommend the Atari um, Blaze Juicy. If 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 you're a do you hard um, Atari fan, Mr. Command is awesome. I, I, I say, get it. You know, um, you know, uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's my opinion. Uh, you've seen it for yourself. Um, you know. Now the handheld is. Well, show you that quickly. Wait. And you see what I mean. Wait. Now this is this is the handheld. We made by the same company, Blaze. Right. Now you'll see like how slowly the games uh, run. Uh, now still playable, but it's still fucking. Now it looks sweet because it, it looks like a, a twenty six hundred you now, um, and uh, like so, like, well, I'll use centipede as an example, and you see how slowly um, uh, it, it it goes, you know. You know, what I mean, even the logo runs slower. Now watch. So it may not seem that slow, that much slower, but it is, believe me. You know. But the handheld, like I said, get it if you're a die hard fan. But if you're not with passing it, because there's so many ways to play these games. So so there you go, Leak. It just runs a lot slower for whatever reason, I don't know. Now the handheld was was forty for it, whereas the joystick was only thirty for it. So, you know that's it. Like, in my opinion, like I said, if if you're a die hard, like I said, there's not many buttons. You have to turn the old off to go back to the main menu. So, uh, in my opinion, we um, get it if you're a die hard fan. Look, look, I am. If not, I'll pass on it. So thanks for watching. If you're watching, see, it's good to play these games while you're waiting for the Xbox controller to recharge. You know. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you're watching, and um, we'll see you all later. So uh, you know, take care, boy, boy.